Hello, everyone. Hello. I just got back from China. Since the last November of the seven months, I have been overseas for about four months. So what I'm seeing now as I'm traveling around, I'm feeling like atomy is really starting to take off. The last place I went was China, and 15,000 seats were all sold out very quickly. And somebody asked me specifically if I could get three seats. Please don't do that. I'm a very busy man. Anyway, it was such a situation that someone even had to ask me to get seats because there weren't enough. Among the Star Masters earlier, there was someone from Xinjiang Uyghur region. Some people live far away and were not able to come by plane, and then there's those who have driven for several days to be here. Everyone, there's nobody here who drove more than 10 hours to come here today. Right? Not having difficult to come and go. You guys have been working very comfortably. You can all think of it like this. Anyway, I have witnessed the scene where Atomy is rising again with quantum jump, raising flags and beating drums all over the world. We want you to go overseas. But you don't have to directly go all the way overseas. If you can go, then go. There are many people from abroad in Korea right now. Keep talking. If you keep working on it, you can expand overseas like that. There are also people who grew their overseas line without going abroad at all, but from here. That's why it's important for you to have certain expectations. Atomy is the kind of company that started with the catchphrase, we're going to rewrite the history of network marketing. If the history of network marketing wasn't problematic, there would be no reason to rewrite it. But network marketing is actually getting a little bit of a bad rep in the world, and it's getting rejection from people. So I thought, why it's getting rejected and having a hard time? I need to analyse it and create a business that can be really respected. And that's why Atomy is a company that started with the idea of rewriting network marketing history. Guys, what's wrong with network marketing? What's wrong with selling something cheap and good? The answer is that it's not. It's the worst case. It starts with some seat cushions. You'll be selling something that should cost 3,300 KRW, but sell it for 3.3 million KRW. And then you realise that you're selling something that they don't need, that you're constantly bugging people about, and they don't like you for it. That's why Atomy decided to stop selling things that the world doesn't need. That's why we sell daily necessities. Your toothpaste, your toothbrush, your cosmetics, your health supplements. These are things that you used or needed even before you met Atomy. But if it's better than a discount store or an online store, and it's even cheaper, so is that a problem or not? There's nothing wrong with it, people. It should be two things. It's a daily necessity, both cheap and good. If it's true, and once you introduce it, it will automatically sell afterwards. It's a daily necessity, cheap and good. How can it not be sold? Yes. Then it will be sold unconditionally. So if you rush to sell those things at first, it can be overwhelming for you and overwhelming for the buyer. 
So that's why you guys don't sell them to other people. At Atomy, we are not in the sales business. It's definitely not a business selling products to other people. But you can sell cheap, good daily necessities at least to one person. One person. Who? Me, me, me. After all, other people sold them to me and got rich. The discount stores got rich. The shopping malls got rich. The department stores got rich. But now I'll stop making you rich and I'll sell it to myself. But if the product is a daily necessity and it's cheap and good, do you think it's easy or hard to sell it to myself? What kind of fool can't do that? It's ridiculous. But if I only sell to me, then how can I make money? First of all, you're making a profit as a consumer. And it's cheap and good. It's a profit, right? If you replace all the things you used to buy elsewhere with Atomy products, you're saving at least 200,000 KRW, 300,000 KRW, almost 1 million KRW a month. That's why, even if you're only a consumer, you're making a profit. But usually, there are people who just can't sell. And they're like, don't try to sell to anyone else, you can't sell. So you only sell to yourself. I only sell to me as well. This is the core of Atomy business. Don't try to sell, okay? Don't sell to other people. What do you do then? Just give them information. Now's society based on knowledge and information, right? You make money by conveying knowledge and information in the society. Now, does anyone ever lose anything because you give someone information and they don't take it? No. So you're just spreading the information out there. But for some people, it's a great piece of information and there are people who are actually looking for it. Now, the other thing is, in this highly industrialised society, jobs are becoming scarce. So we have factory automation, office automation. Now we're in a period of growth where we're not using people. There were areas where we thought human was intrinsically needed. Some judgmental tasks. But even that is now a world where AI and computers can do everything. Although we are still growing, we're already entering an era of growth without income. So, are there people looking for jobs now or not? There are. So, we aren't in the Atomy business because the business is so fun and fantastic. Oh, I'm in the Atomy business and it's so easy. Fun and I get excited by just telling others about it. Even if it's not like this, you should still do it. Why? Even if you don't think it's that easy and that much fun. There are people out there who'd come under your line and work for you. A lot of people. I mean, there are a lot of people looking for that kind of work. Will everyone look for it? Or will there be some of them? Not everyone would be looking for it. But there are people who would look for this. And some people are like, I'm not really cut out to do this but some people are cut out for it. For example, some people, when you ask them to come out and sing, their limbs shake. And some people, when you ask them to come out and sing, they pout. There are people like that. So some of you might be the ones who are afraid to talk about atomy. But you should do it anyway. You know who to look for. People who can't sleep without talking in general. I'm saying there are people who find joys in meeting and talking to people. You just have to find those people. And one of the ways to find those people is just to talk to a lot of people. If you're in a business right now and your partner is working so hard, and they're so nice, and they're so capable, 
and they just can't do it all on their own without your help. That would be great, right? But is everyone like that, or are there more people who aren't like that? There are more people who don't. And then you want to change that person so they work better. But people don't just change. They're still the same. How many times have you tried to change your children? No, they don't change. Your parents tried to change you. Your teachers tried to change you. But you didn't change. I mean, people don't change. There are only two things that change. Don't try to change anyone. But is there a person of a certain disposition? Yes, there is. Someone who is good at this, who is just going to go all over the world, who has a plan, who is going to move on their own, who is going to do it all by themselves because they can do better. They would say, please mind the other line, not me. Who wouldn't love those people who are like that? I'm going to work hard and make you money, sponsor, as that's my joy. There are people like that, but you can't change your partners into one of them. How do you do that? You have to find that person. There's only one way to find them, and that's to be a pearl harvester. If every shell has a pearl in it, then pearls wouldn't be valued as a jewellery. Now, the way you find a lot of pearls, natural pearls, really precious and expensive pearls, is you just go into the water and grab a colander of shells, bring them back and open them up on the beach. Then some of them would have pearls inside. What if there are none in the shells? Then throw them away. Why? The sea is big and there are many shells. The world is big and there are many people. Just throw those partners away, but don't say it in words. Don't say it out loud, say it inwardly. You let it go inside and say, oh, I'll do everything I can to help you succeed. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. And then you say it to yourself. You're wrong. I don't expect anything from you. I'm going to find someone else. Then you don't hate the person no matter how much you don't like what they do. In your mind, you already gave up on them anyway. So you're just grateful for them as just a consumer. Thinking, even if it's just to set the mood, it's better than an empty room. That's your job. Say, thank you so much. I need to make it happen quickly. But forget about them inside your head. That's how we should feel. Don't get upset over people. When I was just starting out with the leaders, I didn't expect everyone to be successful. I'm sitting here with a bunch of Imperial and Crown Master, but I didn't expect all of them to be successful. I'm speaking honestly today. I mean, you guys know a lot of people, so I'm telling you not to stew over who you might have right now. You can just go out there and find them. But don't just be a nice guy and try to convince them, because there's somebody out there looking for this. I mean, there's somebody who just keeps asking you about it once you just tell them. Lately, I've been riding my bike by Kung Kang River. Some of them are retired. Some are just bored. And some of them just like it when someone says something to them. So I just went around and said things. You're wearing a nice outfit today. What's your secret to have such good skin? It's just like, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? I just say things like them. What do you do? I'm in atomy business. I just say them, and actually, as I've been doing the business, I feel like that running business is my vocation. If someone formed a company like Atomy, I'd gladly join and run the business because I think it fits my character. So one day, while I was riding my bike, someone came over and asked me about my bike. My bike is a little expensive, so he asked me about it. So as we were talking, I took a bite of my Atomy product, and he said, You eat Atomy products? 
I was surprised. I didn't know he knew about atomy, but he's a college professor. He has a PhD in engineering. He's the guy who writes exams for the professional engineering test. And he said that he knew very well about a company called Atomy. So, how do you know? I just asked him. He said, you know, it's a company that does missionary work. He turned out to be an elder. He asked me, so how do you eat Atomy products? So I was like, what am I going to say? I'm the chairman of Atomy. He goes, oh, yes. But he didn't have an Atomy membership. Could you have got him as a member? If I was a business owner, I'd have got him signed up that day. It's just that, you know, you can't just go out to a place such as apartments at night and ring random doorbells these days, right? But if you're talking along a river in Korea, they've developed a lot of trails along the river, and there's a lot of shells, people, piled up in those places. You just have to go and talk to them. Meet a hundred people a day, a hundred people. But if you think you must find a pearl there, you won't be able to talk to a hundred people. So you just casually tell people there, and your only goal is to talk to one hundred people. You don't have to sell a single one. If you keep doing that, and then one day there's someone out there that's really looking for this. This business, you guys, it's hard if you try to reach one person a day. I mean, it's just one person, and if it doesn't work, you're in trouble. So you're up all night thinking, where do I start with the words? Do I start with the product? Do I start with the money? How do I evaluate that person? You're going to have to do a lot of research. But if you're just trying to talk to a hundred people a day, then you're not going to get exhausted. Why? Because you can just talk to them casually. Don't try to persuade them and make them work in a hard way. That person's going to cause troubles. So you should always talk roughly. But don't give up on them. Just keep spreading the words casually. Then there are people who are eager to dive into the business, as if they've been looking for businesses like Atomy. When you say that once people become Imperial Masters, they get paid 100 million KRW a month, they're those who are deeply motivated with passion. So don't let those casually joined people make you angry. OK? It's your job to find those people. So, folks, real natural diamonds. They're not made. They're found. So you have to dig in the dirt. And what I mean by digging in the dirt, to see if it's a diamond or not, is like going to a seminar. It's to keep saying to go to a seminar together. Human words have this magical ability. That's why you just have to casually spread words around. With what you said, people would keep thinking about it. I mean, even if you talk to them, they'd say that they wouldn't go. If you ask them to use something once, they would say, no, just because they aren't using it doesn't mean your efforts have been useless. You told them to try the products and go to a seminar. When you say it, one out of three might have an idea of going to a seminar. The two others would think that they have no time. And if you say it one more time, two out of three might have an idea to follow. The third time you mention it, it's like they're almost deciding to go. Now we're at the fourth one. They are going. And now, then, was the first mention useless? Or did it work a third of it? It's done its job. So you're constantly spreading words at people around you. But it's also important to throw words at existing people. Just keep doing it. And another important thing is to keep finding new people. So I want you to set a goal that you're going to talk to 100 people today. If you're going to talk to 100 people, and then you'd walk down the street and say, 
have a look at atomy. You've just spread words out there. And then even a minute becomes precious if you've got 100 people to spread words to. Whatever the case may be, you need to keep spreading words over and over again. And if you keep talking to 100 new people a day for a month or two, do you think you're going to find someone who's going to be really proactive? And do it? Sure. And as you do that, you realise that your partners are now, let's say, 10 or 100. So if you've kept doing that, then there are 10 or 100 people walking around like that. Now, 100 people talk to 100 people. Then that's 10,000 people a day. Are there going to be a pearl? There will be. That's why I say it's important to get used to talking to 100 people a day first. Then your partners grow to be 10,000. 10,000 people talking to 100 people every day. And then a million people. Then would you have pearls or not? It's weird not to have them. That's why we call it a game of chance. It definitely works because Atomy sells daily necessities and it's an absolute quality and absolute price. It's a product of such quality and price that once you try it, you will buy it again and again. Everyone. You know our cosmetics, absolute cosmetics. It won the King Sejong Award. The King Sejong Technology Award. You've probably heard of the IR52 Jang Yong Sil Award, but what is the King Sejong Award? You have to get the first place among the invention patents. And even then, they only award one or two. There are so many high tech patents, such as LEDs and home appliances, etc. It's a technology powerhouse. It's one of the most patented countries in the world with tons of patents. And among them, the first prize is the King Sejong Prize, and it's given to cosmetics. Cosmetics industry has never received it before, until now. That cosmetics is not a cosmetics that has ever existed. This is what we're selling. It's not just cosmetics. In the case of Hamo Him, it's an immune-boosting functional food. It's individually certified type 1. It's the first of its kind. So, now you've been given the tools. But there's only one thing you need to do now. You want to be rich, right? Being rich makes life easier in a lot of ways. But there's one thing that keeps you from being rich. And what is it? You don't think about being rich. They say, what kind of person is that? Who wouldn't do anything to be a rich person? The truth is, there are so many people who are willing to be rich, but they don't think about getting rich. Let's say you meet Atomy. It's such a business where you can make 100 million KRW a month, as a lot of people who just keep buying and selling products themselves are all connected as the products are so good and cheap. It seems great. You feel like you should do it. What if you make 100 million KRW a month? Would you go crazy? Wouldn't you go crazy? You definitely would. But why aren't you crazy? Because you don't believe in it. That and the idea of making 100 million KRW a month is ridiculous, and you firmly believe that it's never going to happen to you. That happens as you believe in it. That's why I think it's important for you to first think about being a person who earns 100 million KRW a month, being rich. Then I want you to write the life scenario right now. You've all been given the life scenario today, right? You're supposed to write that life scenario. And what you're supposed to do when you're writing it is you're supposed to write, if I could be like this, I'd go crazy. I wouldn't sleep. But in reality, you would compromise yourselves. 
I really want to make 3 million KRW, so I'll write down 3 million KRW a month. But then you guys won't go crazy about it. If you face a bit of difficulties, you'll say, oh, I wouldn't do this just to make 3 million KRW. Am I crazy? I'm not doing this. So you'll quit. But if I tell you that it's 300 million KRW a day, or 100 million KRW a month, would you quit that easy? No. That's why I say you can be successful. That's why I'm telling you guys, instead of setting small goals, set big goals. Big goals make it easier for you to get over the difficult times. Even if there's a small rock with a smaller wheel, it'd be hard to get over it. But even if there's a rock, the wheel is this big, then it'd go over easily. It's not about the size of the obstacles, it's about the size of our dreams. And if our dreams are big enough, we can overcome any obstacle. So it's important to grow your dreams. And your dreams you don't dream because they're 100% possible. A dream that's 100% possible, even if it's achieved, is just a joke. For example, I'm going to go somewhere and make a million KRW. That kind of dream, it's almost 100% possible. Anyone can go anywhere and just make a million KRW if they're healthy enough. But those dreams, they don't change your life. The less likely your dream is, the better. What are the chances of making 100 million KRW a month? Is it 90% likely? Maybe not even 10%. It's less than 10%. Less than 10% of you guys are going to make 100 million KRW a month. It would be great if it was even 1%. But what makes someone successful? They take that 1% and they challenge themselves. So imagine you're locked in a dark cave and there's a dime-sized light at the entrance to the cave. Some people make it out of that cave, and some people don't. Some think, how would I get out of that dime-sized hole? If one believes that the cave is full of darkness, and that person dies in the cave. But if you keep going towards the entrance, the light at the entrance to the cave gets bigger and bigger. And you can go out into broad daylight. That's why it's necessary to challenge your possibilities. Even if they are small. I want you to write down your crazy dreams today. Don't compromise with your dreams. Don't compromise, just write it down. And then you tell the whole neighbourhood about it and they call you crazy. If you're called crazy, you have a chance of success. All the successful people are the ones who were told they were crazy. So, what's stopping you from succeeding right now? You're not being called crazy. You're not hearing it. Why? They don't call you crazy because you didn't share your big dreams with them. That's why you need to be called crazy. I'm going to be an Imperial Master making 100 million KRW a month, and in between if I'm making 3, 5, 10 million KRW, and that's great, but I'm still going to make 100 million KRW. So how do we get that together? The way is to talk to 100 people a day. Some people say, do you have to do it on a rainy day? Don't ask me that. Some days you talk to 50 people. Some days you talk to 200 people. They are a bit slow. Those who think, what am I going to do after 100 people? So you set the 100 people as the standard. Well, Imperial Master Huang Yo Kim, he used to talk to 300 people a day. 300 people a day. And if you keep doing that, you're going to end up meeting a pearl. You mention, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to answer to their questions. It's okay. If you keep doing that for a month, two months, a year, then later on, whatever questions you get asked, they are obvious questions and you can answer them any way you want. It's about training. Success is training. Just get out there. Yeah, but not all of you don't have to get out there. 
I'm just going to use the stuff. I don't have to be successful. Those people don't have to do it. But I'm supposed to be really successful. I'm just sick and tired of not being successful. I'm just saying that if you're one of them, then you should just do it. Now, Atomy is really the future business model in this new era. So, you have to do a platform business in the future. You've probably heard this a lot. But to do a platform business, you have to create a platform. But if you can create it, just do it. If you do things such as creating Navicorp, etc., you can make trillions of KRW. But if that doesn't work, well, there's another option. You can buy a pre-made system, like McDonald's or KFC and such. You can buy them for billions of dollars, and they're almost never failing. They are guaranteed success. But you don't have that money. So now if you can't buy an established system like that, and also don't have the ability to build it, then there's only Atomy. Because Atomy has made it already. It's like a car. We've built the engine, the transmission, the brakes and the steering system. All we ask you to do is insert the key and just drive. That's all there is to it. So even if you don't know how to build a car, you can still drive a car, right? Sure you can. So you don't have to build this complex platform, like this car. You don't have to build it yourself, as it's already built. All you have to do is spread the information around. And you don't have to build the logistics system. You don't have to build the computer systems, the accounting systems, design products or stock inventory. Atomy takes care of them all. But what it does is allows you to have your own business, your own platform, your own business that's tens of times more than what you're making on your salary. We talk about our future society as a connected society. They call it a hyper-connected society. Then, what is a hyper-connected society? Everyone, platforms are all about connecting, connecting and connecting. But in such a hyper-connected society, if you just hang on to other platforms, you can't make money. So you have to take ownership of it. We've built it this way so you can take ownership of the platform. So all you have to do is tell people about it. We're in the platform business with absolute quality and absolute price. So that you can become very rich. So all you have to do is tell the people around you and the connections will be made automatically. So if you're in the Atomy business and you force others to spend money to get promoted, then you're just like any other networks. Don't do that. That's why you have to challenge. But you have to challenge in a healthy way. So if you're building job titles by just spending money to match them up, that's not a healthy challenge. Don't do that. If you do that, you'll fall apart. It collapses because it's forced. And when it goes down, what they say is, Atomy's too hard. It's too much work. It's not possible. So don't do that. What you do is you just grow this number of people that you can spread the word to every day and really expand with it. Growing the number of consumers, growing the number of people that you can talk to every day. That's what Atomy Business is all about. It's a healthy challenge. You have to take that challenge of talking to 100 people. Don't spend money just to get promoted. Just don't, OK? If you do that, you will be out of business. Every other network marketing business has gone like that. Don't ever do that. But there's a problem even if you become successful in life through Atomy, becoming an imperial master and all. We all die. I'm successful, right? I'm very successful. But then I die too. 
So there's a problem that's not being solved, even with Atomy. Guys, this network marketing thing, it's called the three riches. It means you become rich in three areas. One of them is money rich. Guys, if you make 100 million KRW a month, you're rich or not. That's enough. Don't try to make more than that. It's hard enough to spend such money. Try to spend 100 million KRW a month. It's really hard. And that's why we don't need more. Especially men don't need to spend that kind of money. But women can spend some money. But for me, I don't need to spend much money. So being money rich, 100 million KRW a month is enough. There's also the friend rich. You shouldn't be lonely after all. But will we have a lot of friends around the world or not? There are so many. They just want to take a picture with me. It's hard. There are just too much of them. And then you can be time rich with a lot of time. Achieving these three riches, that's the goal of network marketing. That's what they say. This time rich. We have the freedom to do whatever we want to do and not to do anything we don't want to do. That's what makes it time rich. So we have the freedom of time, but the problem is, it ends as well. That's why God, the Creator, originally planned for us to have two lives. We have one now, one that lasts about a hundred years. Right? You have it all, right? And if he only designed one that would last 100 years, then God really created a failure. But God the Creator didn't just design one biological life, bios. He designed two lives right from the beginning of creation. For Jesus to share life with us, to share God's life, to share eternal life. So that's another life called Zoe. So when we receive that life, we live eternally. But when we're given that eternal life through the Spirit of God, we also receive a new body. So what we have now is an earthly body. So if you use it for about a hundred years, it breaks down. You'll see that it's broken down a lot, and I'm broken down a lot as well. Then, when the body made of this earth collapses, we bury it in the ground. We're taken from the earth, so the plan is to send us back to the earth, and then we'll get a new body that belongs in heaven. I want everybody who meets Atomy to be money-rich and friend-rich. But I want them to be time-rich most of all. A true time-rich person is supposed to last forever. I mean, I've been successful. And I'm thinking, success doesn't mean anything if this earthly life is all there is to it. You're not going to die because you're an imperial master. You'll die, but it'll be worse if you die as an imperial master. Maybe the people who are struggling with no money, they're like, oh my god, I'm going to die, and that's the end of my struggle. It's kind of easier. But we have 100 million KRW coming in, got a nice house, got money in the bank. Got another 100 million KRW coming in next month, and then we die. We're going to get 100 million KRW next month. But if we die today, it's frustrating. So I want everyone to have a second life. Zoe, which is God's plan for eternal life. I really want you to be blessed with that. But if we talk about this all day now, it's just going to make us feel bored. So, next Friday. I mean, we have the Success Academy. And then the following Friday, we're having a whole day of revival meeting at our headquarters at Atomy Park. We want you to come and enjoy the blessing of eternal life. We want everybody who comes into contact with us to be richly blessed by God materially and eternal life as well. Thank you.